Oh, my peeps. Heidi Ho, and welcome to my happy spot. I'm sitting in my bathtub for the first time in forever. There are my little feet saying hi to you. Um, yeah, so what I've got in today's bath is some uh, leg shaving cream I'm not using because I'm not going to be shaving my legs till I get my new razors. This is the stuff that was sent to me. One of the things that was sent to me by my, by my mystery um, patron who who sent this and some stickers and some tea. And I'm so excited about trying this today. I'm also going to use a grape collagen essence mask. And I might use some of that charcoal stuff. I don't really need it, but I got it for free. And, you know, I hate to throw things out. Um... Uh, I'm going to apply it with this little thing. I love these little, um, these little really soft face scrubber deals. I got this at um, Daiso in San Francisco area. Okay, so now, now I'm going to turn off my nice hot water and lose my toe. And, well, what else do we have? Well, we've got my Day of the Dog hand towel that I keep here so I can keep wiping my my wet hands when I'm handling my camera. I've got my metal tin. I hope it doesn't have anything scary living in it. No. I use this when I'm washing my hair to, to rinse my hair with. And then I've got my Sumo Wrestler Poses hand towel that I picked up at... Um, at Daiso in San Francisco. What's behind me? Well, I have my antique glove box that I've owned forever, along with some uh, perfumes. And I've got some more perfumes. And that little pink box I got from my mom and I've been using it. What's above my head? Oh, some drawers that a little kid wore. And over here we have a chemise, probably from the 1890s or 80s, maybe. What's on this side? Oh, we have my uh, calling card collection that I framed along with some antique valentines and German scrap paper. I've had those forever. What's up here? Oh, it's my Madonna shrine. I love my Madonnas. Catholic girl that I am. I got Jesus over there stuck in the corner. And I got some rosaries. And I've got a picture of white Jesus back here. Of course, I don't believe Jesus looked anything like that. I think it was a swarthy little dark guy. But, you know, what do I know? And that's about all I've got. Um... So now I'm going to change the angle on this camera so I can talk to you. Okay. I just dropped my, my fizzy mermaid bath bomb into the water and it's doing its fizzy thing. It feels so good. I love, I love bath bombs. Um, I had Grant come and put, I had him tack up the, I'll show you. See if you can even see it. I don't think you can even see it. No, you can't. It's all blown out. Anyway, I had him tack up my wrestling sumo towel to kind of break up the the light coming through this east window because um, you could not see see me at all in this in this orientation. I was just a bunch of shadows. Anyhow, um, so. I haven't done a bath time confessional in a long, long time, and I'm so glad I'm in the bath this morning because there is something I've been wanting to talk to you guys about, confessional-wise, and it's my, the fear that I'm dealing with right now. Um, I'm dealing with fear 
that I'm biting off more than I can chew by starting this business. Um, I'm worried that even though I feel so much better, I'm not there yet. You know, I still need to knock off a minimum of, let's see, I'd say a minimum of 50 pounds to really be back jumping around on my feet all day like I used to be. I mean, if I can even regain it again, I don't know. But um, I, because I think about, you know, what weight was I at the last time? Sorry about that. Um, that I felt, you know, that I was running around and I could walk forever and I didn't, I never got tired and all of that. And it was at about 270 or so, which I know sounds like, a freaking whale to a lot of you but 270 for me particularly as muscular as I used to be that was a that was a fairly sustainable size I mean doesn't I know it doesn't sound like it should be but it was anyhow um so I'm worried about my stamina I'm also worried about the finances of this thing I need it to pay for itself out of the gate. It has to be able to pay its own PG&E, its own property taxes. PG&E is Pacific Gas and Electric. Um, it needs to pay its own property taxes. It needs to pay for an employee within just a couple months of opening um, and that sort of thing. And and so I've been, I've been fretting over whether or not I'm going to be able to bring in enough money to to do that to crack the nut so to speak i'm less concerned about bringing in a profit for myself at this point i just want it to sustain itself i'm also worried about um about a little bit about the economy i think if we take a downturn that will definitely affect things um but i'm probably less concerned about that than i am about just generally attracting traffic to both my the online component of my store as well as the bricks and mortar, you know, building. Um, fear is crippling. Fear, when you start to be afraid of what might happen in the future, especially if you've more or less done your homework and you've got your numbers kind of figured out already and it looks doable, you know, especially when you've done all that and you're continuing to be afraid, it knocks the joy out of what you're doing. And it, it you, you almost set yourself up to fail. Um, I think it's because you're expecting signs of failure. And so when you have challenges, you interpret that as signs of failure and you just kind of give up and uh, don't fight. Um, don't try to think of creative ways to solve your problems and all of that. You just kind of give in. And I don't want that to happen to me. Um, I don't really, I, I, I can't really match up who I am today and me running a business. Because the me I am today was so different than the me I was in 1998 when I opened my last store. So I can't, don't really have much to compare it too. Um, so I'm going to sail into this thing, you know, as well researched as I can, but just, you know, just going to, what's the Stockdale principle? The Stockdale principle is expect to win. Believe that you're going to win, but expect to lose, something like that. Um, so I'm just going to go in expecting to win. And if if I lose, I lose. But but I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to continue the positivity into into that little corner of this thing that I'm doing. Um, I my energy level is obviously low. It's because I only slept for about two hours last night. Didn't get to sleep until after four, woke up before seven, restless, just couldn't get back to sleep. I've got to readjust my hand. Hang on, let's see if I can do this without dropping the phone. Okay. Um, 
just couldn't couldn't relax so I got up talked to some friends uh, ran a bath and I can feel that I'm relaxing thank God so when when my soak is over um, and I'm done with my face mask I'm going to go in and lie down and hopefully I will be asleep within minutes and you know I'll get some good quality sleep today I'll get up in the afternoon and you know, work at night again like I did last night. So, this was going on. I just wanted to, to confess to you my fear. I'm very uncomfortable with fear. I tend to reject fear. I just, I just refuse delivery on it. But it has a way of creeping in under the door and through the cracks in the windows, whether you want it to or not. So, that is my state of mind. And I am I, I'm obviously so relaxed that I'm having a hard time not slurring my words. So it's time for me to say goodbye, and I will see you guys tonight. <laughs> Bye.